We know why it is, because people get to watch you walk across the stage in the bright light. You get a whole long couple of minutes of darkness if you walk along the bottom. But I'm taking up Claudia's challenge. Thank you. <laughs> and, I, and fortunately, it's dark enough for me not to see the attrition rate of being <laughs> the last one reading. <laughs> that ding dang Woodson name. I, that's what I'm going to blame it on, the Woodson name. Um, thanks for staying. And um, Brown Girl Dreaming is a memoir. Uncle Odell. Six months before my big sister is born, my Uncle Odell is hit by a car while home in South Carolina on leave from the Navy. When the phone rang in the Nelsonville house, my mother was out, maybe my mother was out hanging laundry on the line or down in the kitchen speaking softly to her mother-in-law, Grace, missing her own mama back home. Maybe the car was packed and ready for the drive back to Columbus the place my father called the big city, now their home. But every Saturday morning, they drove the hour to Nelsonville, Ohio, and stayed till Sunday night. Maybe right before the phone rang, tomorrow was just another day. But when the news of my uncle's dying traveled from the place he fell in South Carolina to the cold March morning in Ohio, my mother looked out into a gray day that would change her forever. Your brother, my mother heard her own mother say. And then there was only a roaring in the air around her, a new pain where once there wasn't pain, a hollowness where only minutes before she had been whole. Tobacco. Summer is over, a kiss of chill in the southern air. We see the dim orange of my grandfather's cigarette as he makes his way down the darkening road, hear his evening greetings and the coughing that follows them. Not enough breath left now to sing, so I sing for him in my head where only I can hear. Where will the wedding supper be? Way down yonder in a hollow tree. The old people used to say a pinch of dirt in the mouth can tell tobacco story. What crops are ready for picking? What needs to be left to grow? What soil is rich enough for planting and the patches of land that need a year of rest? I do not know yet how sometimes the earth makes a promise it can never keep. Tobacco fields lay fallow, crops picked clean. My grandfather coughs again and the earth waits for what and who it will get in return. So my fam I was born in Columbus, Ohio, and then my mother moved back to Greenville, South Carolina, where her own parents lived. Um, and then, as part of the Great Migration, moved us to New York City in the 60s, in the late 60s. Um, in New York City, my uncle lived and ended up in prison. One in 15 children in this country have parents in prison. Um, and I'm very concerned with the issue of um, the mass incarceration as I grew up a part of that system. The promised land. When my uncle gets out of jail, he isn't my uncle anymore. He is Robert the Muslim and wears a small black kufi on his head. And even though we know we witnesses are the chosen ones, we listen to the stories he tells about a man named Muhammad and a holy place called Mecca and the strength of all black people. We sit in a circle around him, his hands moving slowly through the air, his voice calmer and quieter than it was before he went away. When he pulls out a small rug to pray on, I kneel beside him, wanting to see his Mecca, wanting to know the place he calls the promised land. Look with your heart and your head, he tells me, his own head bowed. It's out there in front of you. You'll know it when you get there. And this last piece is called music. Um, I was raised Jehovah's Witness. I'm not anymore. <laughs> and there were a lot of strict rules to it, including what kind of music we listened to. Each morning, the radio comes on at 7 o'clock. 
Sometimes Michael Jackson is singing that ABC is as easy as one, two, three, or Sly and the Family Stone are thanking us for letting them be themselves. Sometimes it's slower music, the five stair steps telling us that things are going to get easier, or the Holly singing, he ain't heavy, he's my brother, so on we go. My mother lets us choose the, what music we want to listen to, as long as the word funk doesn't appear anywhere in the song. <laughs> but the summer I am 10, funk is in every single song that comes on the cool black radio stations. So our mother makes us listen to the white ones. All afternoon, corny people sing about Colorado. <laughs> about everything being beautiful about how we've only just begun. <laughs> My sister falls in love with the singers, but I sneak off to Maria's house. We're safe inside her room with a pink shag carpet and bunk beds. We can comb our doll's hair and sing along when the Ohio players say he's the funkiest worm in the world. <laughs> we can dance the funky chicken, tell imaginary intruders to get the funk out of our faces. <laughs> Say the words so hard and so loud and so many times, it becomes something different to us. Something so silly, we laugh just thinking about it. Funky, 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 we sing again and again until the word is just a sound, not connected to anything, good or bad, right or wrong. Thank you. <laughs>